The bill recently passed and referred to the National Council aims to combat trafficking of persons and to provide measures to persecute those found guilty of such offenses. The proposed legislation also gives effect to international obligations relating to human trafficking, like the United Nations Global Plan of Action to Combat Trafficking of Persons, which calls for nations to introduce consistent measures to defeat the scourge. For first-time convicts, the bill prescribes a fine not exceeding $1 million or imprisonment for a period not exceeding 30 years, and for repeat offenders, a fine of up to $2.5 million or imprisonment for up to 50 years. However, Mensa Williams feels that the proposed punishment is too lenient. We cannot have any bill dealing with modern-day slavery, human trafficking, and we have options of people paying a penalty. Penalties are out. When you steal one goat, there is no penalty. You go to prison. When you rape somebody, there is a minimum sentence. Why should we in trafficking when people are physically and mentally abused, rape, tortured, why should there be a penalty? So we cannot go soft in this bill. We have to end this. The National Council will also consider the Education Bill, which aims to remove the provision of compulsory school development fund, and the Urban and Regional Planning Bill, which aims to give powers to regional leadership to approve developmental projects in their regions. Salmi Angula, NBC News, Parliament.